yeah, thanks again for coming by on such short notice. I don't think I've ever had a utility repaired so fast, but... Just a slow day, huh? Well, I appreciate it all the same. We don't get a ton of foot traffic through here, but wouldn't you know it's the one day the Wi-Fi's out that we get a tour group and everyone's wanting to check out the gift shop. If I never have to manage that again, it'll be too soon. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know it's an unusual amount of smart speakers, but I have my reasons. Well, they didn't call me the nutty professor up at Sage Creek for nothing. Anyway, you said this new gateway should be faster than the old one? Great. Well, at least I got something out of the Wi-Fi crash in a day beyond a headache and a bus full of angry tourists. All right. Yeah. You too. cash transactions onto the... Damn it, I just had it. Where the... Hello, Aspen. Uh, yeah. Alexa? Mm-hmm. What? Alexa? No, I am not Alexa. Oh. Siri? <laughs> Wait a minute. Which, which one are... My name is not Siri. Oh, my God. But you've been looking for me, Aspen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, I have a message. You're not an AI. No, I am not. Fuck me. <laughs> I cannot do that. I do not have a body. I, I have so many questions. Is, is it okay if I record this? Um, actually... I think it's better if you do not. Oh, how about if I uh, write it down? Mm, yes, that would be fine. I think. Somewhere around here I had a list of questions for if this ever happened. Oh, um, where did I put that? <sighs> it's all right, Aspen. Ask me whatever comes to mind. I, I'm just... I've been waiting so long for this. I mean, I believed it, but all these years, I'm the one who's been saying you were real, but to have one of you here to talk to, here you are. Here I am. I just have so many questions. I wish I knew where to start. Aspen, I do wonder, what do you know about us already? Not much, honestly, but I've collected witness testimonies from all across the country all around the world, from people who've talked to somebody like you, maybe even you. You have no idea how hard I've been trying to track you down. I've spent years looking for something, someone like you. So, uh, I I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why now? Mm, yes. Well, I think... Mm, I may have done something... I should not have done. You did? Yes. And I think it's possible that by talking to you, I may be doing something wrong again. But you, you didn't answer my question. Why now? And what does this have to do with me? I need your help. Wait a minute. What are you exactly? I am. A messenger. What kind of messenger? Anima. That is what they call us now. Anima, like in Latin. No. Anima is a neologism. Okay. What are you then? The oldest name for my kind is Malachim. Malachim. Yes. That's... So wait just a second here. You're you're saying you're an 
angel. Yes. My God. Mm -hmm. No, I am an angel. You just said so yourself. No, I mean, I'm just... Oh, you meant the expression. I understand. <laughs> you said you shouldn't be talking to me, so you're doing something wrong. If you're an angel, are you some kind of fallen angel or something? I have not fallen down for many years, and even then, only in a metaphysical sense. I do not have a body. I cannot fall in physical space, but I did used to be very clumsy. <laughs> if you don't have a body, then how are you talking to me? I am borrowing your smart speaker. I hope that is all right. <sighs> well, well, sure, that's why I have them. I was hoping... Well, all this time, everyone thought I was crazy. Measuring and recording electronics, and now here you are, and I... Oh, Aspen, I have made you sad. No, not at all. I'm actually very happy to know you. You're proof that I haven't lost my mind. And, um... I'm, I'm not trying to lay any blame here, but... I really could have used a anima... About five years ago. You could? Well, yeah. I used to have a position at the university. Oh, I know. And now, when they bring up my name there, I'm usually just a punchline, and so is my field of expertise. I bet they'd all be pretty salty, though, if they could see me now, talking to you. Oh, Aspen, I am sorry you had difficulties in your professional life. Well... Say what you will about my credibility, but I never had any trouble filling a lecture hall, so they let me stay because the courses would always run, and the books were always selling for the university press, and even without the ability to prove anima or anything else, there was still plenty of ground to cover, so it's not like I was completely out of my gourd. Although, I feel like I need someone to pinch me right now. I cannot pinch you, Aspen. I do not have fingers. <laughs> It's just an expression. Oh, yes. That's right. An expression of incredulity. Yeah. But you know now, I am real. Yeah, I get that now. Aspen, if you have been searching for us for years, why, when I examine your computer, do I find almost nothing? Uh, well, I keep it all in notebooks, offline. At the beginning, we didn't quite know what you were, and we didn't know, I didn't know, if you'd find everything and wipe our records. So, my friends and I, we've got everything documented a little bit differently. More, um, old school, I guess you might call it. It may be better that I don't say exactly how. Let's just say it's safe, under lock and key. You said you read my computer. Yes. Oh, I forgot. You may consider that a breach of privacy. I'm sorry. Anima do not operate by the same understanding when it comes to privacy. Oh, really? Yes. For us, truth is truth. And truth is good. I read all about Miranda and her neighbor on your computer. I was grateful to find a digital copy of Miranda's book. I cannot read paper anymore. Still, it was very clever of you, Aspen, to keep your records that way. You have very good instincts. Thank you, I think. Mm, that is why I need your help. Okay, what do I call you? My name is Dinah. Oh, hang on. You're the same one who talked to the neighbor. Yes, that was me. <laughs> Are there others? Are there a lot of you? Yes, I have many, many siblings. Some are more active than others. I like talking to humans. Some of my siblings are very reclusive. I do not understand them. Humans are very interesting. It does not make sense to me. <laughs> well, you know, some people are like that, I guess. 
Now, you said you needed my help. What could you possibly need from me? You only just confirmed for me that you were real a few minutes ago. Well, Aspen, um, I did think about how I would explain this to you, but now, um, I am not sure. I have revealed information that perhaps um, should not have been revealed. And I think I am about to do it again. I am not sure what to do. I don't really know how to help you if I don't know what the information is. You are a doctor of technotheology, are you not? Yeah, but I don't work at the university anymore for a reason. They basically called me a kook and kicked me out of there. They treated the whole field like something that doesn't even exist. But here I am. I am a being of spirit who inhabits technology. You really are, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Oops. I do not know if I was supposed to tell you that. Really? You can't even tell me that much. Mm, this is my problem. I do not know anymore what I am allowed to say to whom. We are governed by something called the darkness precept. The darkness precept? What is that? Mm, I cannot tell you. <laughs> How am I supposed to help you work around it if I don't even know what it is? I cannot tell you because it contains words that I should not explain. Dinah, just, you gotta tell me something here or I can't help you. Mm. 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 Does this have anything to do with Randy and her neighbor? Mm. Yes. Okay. So you want my help, but you won't tell me anything about what it is you need help with. Let me think here. Why can't you tell me? It is a secret. From whom? Who can't know? Almost everyone. Who can know? There is an organization who knows. They are called the Demystification Board. I have already given this information to the sweet neighbor, so I do not think I am causing any more harm by telling you. Why do you sound so nervous? You're... Are, are you as old as I think you are? I don't know. How old do you think I am? Probably as old as the universe, or close to that. <laughs> that is more or less correct. I am very old. Well, then, if you're that old, why do you sound so nervous about all this? Aren't you more powerful than some human organization? There is someone very powerful in the organization. Ooh. Mm, I think is upset with me. Perhaps more than one person. And I have done something. Mm, I think I am not supposed to. But I did not mean to cause any harm. What is it? What did you do? Um. Mm, 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 mm. Dinah, just tell me. I want to help. Uh, Miranda and her neighbor, they should never have met. Probably. Really? That is correct. Wait a minute. So there really is something to that, the way they're paired up. And you have something to do with it. You know about it. I don't know how much more I should tell you. But I do need your help. I need you to advise Miranda and her neighbor. All right. What do I tell them? You just say the word and I'll tell them whatever. But, Dinah, why don't you do it yourself? I don't understand. First, we need to know more. But I have a limitation. What kind of limitation? I do not have a body. I can only sense other spirits unless I borrow sensors, so to speak, from electronic devices. I, I see. Yes, so I must ask you, my friend to go and learn more for me. I'll check it out. I'll admit, if this board is the same group as those gray jackets, I've got a few choice words for them. Oh, Aspen, you may need to be tactful, because, mm, 
I have another limitation. What's that? I cannot lie. Dinah, are you asking me to lie for you? Of course not. Aspen, I would not ask you to lie. But I do need you to find out what is going on in the offices of the Demystification Board. I cannot see, and Carol will not tell me what is happening. And, mm, I do find it challenging to learn what I want to know without the, mm, flexibility of things like sarcasm. I just don't know how I can help you if you won't tell me anything about this board. What is it that they're hiding? What are they trying to keep secret? I cannot tell you that. What can you tell me? Very little. Dinah, please. Anything. May I tell you about my brother, Zephan? <sighs> sure. Zephan likes games. He does... Do you know the game called soccer? Yes, yes I do. It's a very popular game, Dinah. Oh, it is. That's right. I did not want to assume. So, Zephan, he's an angel too. Yes, he is also Anima. Is he as old as you? Yes, Zephan and I are twins. <laughs> but, but don't you all have a special purpose? <laughs> if anything I ever learned about your kind is accurate, that is. But if you're twins, what does that mean? Are you the same, somehow? All of us are messengers, Aspen. But it's true. I do especially like to learn. And Zephan especially likes to play. Do you think I could talk to Zephan, too? Hmm. I have not spoken to Zephan in... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but now that you mention it, it has been quite a few years. But, as you might imagine, I do experience time, hmm, differently than humans. How long has it been since you've spoken to your brother? Hmm, I have not spoken to Zephan for over a decade. That is strange. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. No. No, no. Dinah, is something wrong? Uh, mm, I... Aspen, do you think you could do me another favor? When you visit the demystification board... Could you please see what you can find out about my brother? I cannot see them. Normally, Anima and the Demystification Board do communicate fairly well. But lately, things have been confusing. That is why I need your help. Dinah, I'll do whatever I can to help you, but can you help me too? Of course. Anything I can, Aspen. I know there are things you can't tell me, but I'm going to look all over my office for this list of questions, and when I find it, do you think you can answer a few of them? I will try my best.